I'm here with Spencer from Verge Motorcycles at CES 2026, and we're going to have a look around the Verge motorcycle that's on the stand here. We've also just chatted on the podcast with regards to donut battery, semi-state, solid state, sorry, let's not call it semi-state. Um, so Spencer, tell us a bit about the bicycle motorcycle. Yeah, let's take a look. We'll start from the rear. You have the Dona Motor 2.0. So this is producing 1,000 Nm of torque. Uh, it totally eradicates the need for a chain, a belt, a drive shaft. It is fully integrated into the wheel. So unique. Yes, indeed. Uh, we've developed this for many, many years now, and we're on the second generation of it now. The difference um, between the first and second generation, would you uh, know the step up? Okay. Yeah, so we've lost about 19 kilos, Wow. which is significant. You can um, see the carbon fiber there, uh, yeah, actually. This is a lot prettier. This was kind of, um, we've we've narrowed in the stator here. Mm -hmm. So you can see the uh, cooling fin here oh, yes. is aluminium. And then, yeah, the carbon fiber looks a lot more pretty these, on this, type, this iteration. Uh, and you can see here the, the radial bolts. That's where you remove the rim only when you change the tire. It takes about 10 to 15 minutes. There's a video on our YouTube. A lot of people say, oh, this is an issue. Trust me, I've done it, and I know nothing about changing tires. <laughs> Spencer can do it. <laughs> Anybody can Correct. do it. I'll, I'll put the link in the description <laughs> to the video. Absolutely. So then we come up. Um, the colorway you see here is California edition. It's our special edition for when we uh, opened our new stores. Beautiful. Um, it's mainly cosmetic. You get a nice, unique uh, badge here and some orange underlaid perforated leather oh, seat. Oh, yeah, Very you can luxurious. kind of see it luxurious. in the area. Yes, nice. So in the middle here, NACS charging Very good for the North the American US. American country, yeah. Very yep. cool. And then in Europe we have and the CCS. UK, CCS combo. Charging speeds on that at the moment. Yes, two options you have uh, for the TS Pro. You have the TS Pro with 217 miles of range or the TS Pro with 370 miles of range. 217370. Correct. 370 miles. Miles, yes. Let me just clarify that. Miles. Um, I'll convert so that on the screen. For the larger battery pack, 200 kilowatts of charging power. Wow. So 10 minutes, so you'll get you know 300 kilometers back, zero to 80. And then for the, the smaller battery pack, maximum is about 100, 105 kilowatts um so that gets you about 200 kilometers of range back wow. in 10 minutes to zero to 80. unbelievable yeah uh, so that solid state battery pack which is down low here you can see this little crease in the fairing uh -huh. and the frame here aluminium frame protecting the battery pack it's the lowest part of the bike so yes the 20 kilowatt hour weighs 225 kilos the larger ones between 235 and 240 okay um but it keeps the weight really low center low of gravity yeah don't get me wrong you're not going to change you're not going to sort of compare it to your panagales okay. or your super dukes or anything like that but she's got enough room to move around uh, a big rear sector tire which changes the dynamics a mm. little bit but very easy to handle super smooth beautiful and you can customize basically the way you ride with the ride mounts okay so we'll go back up to the top here you can see the uh, driver area here it might look like a lot but it's actually really really simple you've got a touch screen display for your information yes i like to call it a diluted tesla approach okay <laughs> so no we're not going to have jingle all the way mode or anything okay. like this anytime soon <laughs> but you've got all the information you could have any charging uh your odometer but you've also got additional things like okay. you can do the Statics, see how much yeah, your nice. kilowatt hours and your consumption is but then you've got connectivity via bluetooth to your helmet yeah uh, my fingers, this is a demo mode. Yeah, so no great. problem. LTE connected, so okay. over there updates, continuous updates. You buy this bike, it will only get Very cool. better. You know, and then up here, you've got your, I wouldn't say standard, but what you traditionally see on a okay. motorcycle. This is where your key information is speed, your uh, range left, what ride mode you're in, your track control level. So when you're riding, this is a piece of information. Mm -hmm. When you're at a red light or you know, you when you're just about to set off, this is where you set up your bike. This is where you can have your customized ride mode. So you have range, zen, beast, and custom. Okay. So with a flick of a switch, this little switch here, this one here, Very you can cool. actually change sort of the identity of the bike. So Sat nav, bikes. is that going to be one of the things that Yes, so we are going to have a navigation system on there. Um, we're working into the back end side of things, whether it's Android or uh, Apple CarPlay. Each individual system needs its own prerequisite green boxes ticked, I would say. Yes. But we're working on it. And Very it, cool. it is going to be available. Nice. Yeah. Beautiful look in this California yep. edition. And then you can come to the front A bit here. more traditional than at the front. Correct. So the, the design brief was kind of make something that makes you double tick. So you see the front end, it's a regular bike, you kind of scan it, oh, a motorcycle. But then you look again, you see the wheel, mm. you see the individual elements, and then you realize it's a wholly 
whole different uh, different thing. So this is the generation two. Some of our European customers have the generation one. We've got an increased angle to the front here. Mm -hmm. No, it's not a huge wet, um, windscreen, but it helps to deflect. You know, deflect a little bit. I wouldn't say it was actually a windshield, but it just adds a bit more to the character and protects that screen for you. Okay. So you got the front and the rear manual mm -hmm. brakes. Very so good. nothing on your feet anymore, keeps everything simple, really intuitive, so you can really, really get into your riding and feel you know, that power behind you, 1,000 newton meters, 136 horsepower. 1,000 um, newton meters is a lot in an EV. Yes. And yeah. we're talking about two wheels Correct. here. Correct. It's measured slightly differently because our motor is the wheel, so there's uh -huh. no sort of transition of that power okay. from a gearbox or through a gearbox. But trust me, it is enough. It's it's. It's so controllable as well. Nice. But like I said, with a flick of a switch, you can change this from a 125cc scooter into beast whatever mode. you Was want. Beast mode? Yeah, you beast <laughs> mode, yeah, yeah. Uh, and for the American guys, uh, they have a foot-operated electronic braking system. Okay, so depending on the jurisdiction will dictate some of the modifications. Correct. So that is actually the first of its kind electronic braking system for the rear wheel. So we're talking about manual regen. Okay. Yeah, so that's also a little bit. We'll be, we'll be releasing more information on that when. Bit of a scoop there, Spencer. Yeah, I'll, take bit, I'll take that. I'll take that. Very cool. Um, made. We talked about it. Made in Estonia. Estonia. Yes, at a factory in Estonia. Very good. And now with that solid state announcement that we talked about in the podcast, if you haven't listened to the podcast. Make sure you do. But uh, we're going to be having the opportunity of having a standard range and a long range. Correct. So ranges on that in miles. I'll convert them to kilometers underneath the screen. Do we have range estimates yet? Yes, two seventeen for the smaller pack and 370 oh, sorry, you did for say the that earlier on, yeah, so yeah, solid state. Very good, and what are the, what's the reaction been like? We talked about the opportunity of having mobile service and going to your property or place of work and being yeah. able to action the bike. Other brands, well, not a lot of other brands, but one other brand in particular in the electric car space does this as well. Correct, yes. We'll mention uh, no names. But not, 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 not that we're kind of copying them, no, but, but it is a similar fact that, you know, we want to have that personal touch and we trust our products to not need regular servicing brakes and tires most people know how to do that or they have a, a, yeah. a, a local YouTube guy video. correct they have a local <laughs> guy who can, who can help with that or some people even do that themselves so all, the only other thing you need is we've got an online portal for our owners they flag us if if they have an issue yes we can online diagnose things nice, with that over there as well as then anything physical that needs doing we'll come out to you and we'll help you out that's it's the simple a simple model really and we hope that people can get confidence in the product because we can back it up but the product speaks for itself exactly now not to be crude about it spencer but people in the comments will be asking about prices yes so if you don't mind what you give me a rough estimation of what kind of price that we're talking about maybe for the european markets for, for the irish markets european markets um the prices are still kind of we're gonna find out where they are per market mm -hmm. so if you take the uk for example mm -hmm. Um, prices are going to start from twenty seven four nine nine okay pounds and then go up to uh, twenty nine nine ninety right uh, for the long range okay so for performance high powered electric motorcycles you're in the ballpark you're not I know it's in a premium don't get me wrong I'm not saying it's affordable yeah, but yeah. it is you're not crazy yeah I mean uh, if if you wanted to get into that conversation over a <laughs> beer you know you can spec out Harley Davidsons and BMWs till till the day ends yeah. you know so um, yeah. Don't get me wrong, I, we, we all realize that this is a premium product. Yes. You know? However, we're making a statement and these are world beating top of the game specifications. And just gotten better and better. Exactly. Product portfolio at the moment, it's, a, it's just the one, but we yes, will see more. Yes, we have the TS more. Pro uh, standard and long range. We have the TS Ultra, which is going to be coming to market sort of mid this year, uh, which is everything turned up to 11. If, excuse the yeah, yeah. common phrase <laughs> um, that is a strictly one seat it would, it would also um, have our star matter platform which is a five camera setup which helps with driver aids oh, and things wow. like this so a lot more technical again um, pricing is going to be released on that but it will be more expensive of course then we will be going into the next steps which I won't get yeah, the scoop on this. Yeah, 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 yeah. I appreciate that. Spencer, I have a provisional motorcycle license at the moment, so you're just teasing me even more. What annoys me is when I do the lessons back home in Ireland, it's I have to use a manual motorcycle. Okay. And just, I know it needs a skill, it needs to be learned, but I just wish it was a twist and go and I could focus on the driving, not having to figure out gears and all the rest of it. But I look forward to bringing those reviews to the channel at some stage over the future. Spencer, anything else to add before we wrap up? VergeMotorcycles.com. Check us out on our YouTube videos. If you have any questions at all, whether it's hate or 
Uh, whatever you want, whatever you want, we're here for it. If you want us to make a video about something, let us know. Literally, we are open for discussion and open for comments. Please just send us what, how you feel. And if you want to test ride them, head onto the website, send us an email, and we'll, we'll organize it. Spencer, I'll put the link to the website and to the YouTube channel in the description. Amazing. Thanks so much for your time. Thank you very much.